Hello, hello, dear Cancer. How are you all? Welcome to Divine Day Boo. Thank you so much for being here. This is your reading for May of 2022. It is a love reading, and I will be extending extending this reading through Patreon or through a link beneath this video that uh, takes you to my website. That's when you where you can purchase the extended readings, unless you're on Patreon, of course. Thank you so much for being here. Um, let's see what's going on. Where? Oh, okay. Six of Swords. I like it. Six of Swords. Moving on. Now May is a. It is a month of um, eclipse energies. We've got Mercury that's retrograde. Mercury is retrograding in. in Gemini and Taurus, very strong retrograde season with Pluto retrograde in Capricorn as well. As I'm doing your reading, and I know that they're late, but better late than never, they say, dear Cancer. So Jupiter has just entered Aries and the weather is getting hot. We know Aries is fire. Jupiter expands, Aries is new beginnings, it's being gutsy, courageous. So what are you moving on from and where are you moving towards? You are moving towards serenity, logically. Let's see what your challenge is. Okay, this is a love reading, generally. It is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars and North Node. If you're wanting to view the reading as business or family or whatever it is we are reading the energy so i suppose you can translate it we do get the feel of the reading so take it as it uh speaks to you okay so your challenge in the month of may dear uh, cancer is the two of pentacles interesting oh and we've got eros and agape in the house <laughs> um Two of Pentacles challenge a decision to move on or moving on, leaving conflict, self-sabotage, uh, challenging words, situations, moving towards serenity. Wherever you're moving towards uh, could also put you in a position where you're going to be very busy. Uh, if you're moving house or moving from one place to another, uh, even moving from one relationship to another um, difficult choice difficult difficult for sure these are two cards of balance so you're trying to find your harmony um, and you may be uh, leaving something that was really really challenging here we see the waters very um, rough rough seas rough waters uh, Water is emotion, so you are a water sign. It may be a, a time of emotional challenges, but you can um, use your use your logic. Even though you know Mercury retrograde is not very logical, um, it does rule you know out the left side of the brain, which is all about logic. So maybe. Um, at this time, you're doing something that you wouldn't normally do. I don't know why I picked that up. But anyway, at your foundation is the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles uh, is something stable. It's a long-term relationship. It could be a marriage. It could be a new home. Um, it, we know that Aces are possibilities. And it's, it's the seed uh, from this reading. So... Whatever stems from it, it's it's in in relation to something stable in a long term relationship or a marriage or a commitment. Recent past, oh wow, eight of cups. You've left you've left a relationship, you've left a marriage, or doesn't uh, necessarily have to mean that you've left uh, a love relationship or a marriage or anything. This could be just. You could be just very busy and migrating and it could be putting pressure on your love life. So it will be different for each of you. What is crowning you? 
So wherever you're moving towards, it's a wish fulfillment. You've been hoping for this. Okay, Rec um, recent future, near future, is the Page of Swords. There's something that needs to be communicated or some sort of truth, something that you're studying, looking at. Page of Swords is Gemini. Um, could also speak to a child. I don't know if... Uh, because it looks like the Page of Swords is like blocking this movement. So maybe there could be some legalities or any information that's missing before... Um, before you get to your destination, your desired destination, nevertheless. Now, Page of Swords can also be someone who's spying on you, checking you out. Could also be, some of you could be married and have a Gemini, could be Gemini, could be Aquarius, could be Libra, I suppose. Child, that's blocking this change, this transition, because I see you like in a transition mode. Let's look at you and the position of you. King of Pentacles. So you're wanting, I don't know if you've connected with someone. This could be an earth sign or I don't. You, look, the King of Pentacles is usually a father. It's usually a father. But the King of Pentacles, not only is he a father, he could be a boss. He could be um, someone that's very experienced, a father figure. Uh, maybe even um, financial matters. Uh, we know that King of Pentacles is very abundant. But there's a... There's a connect here. There's something to do with the past here. Ace of Pentacles, which is what the uh, King of Pentacles holds as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's um, what's in your environment? What's going on? So Page of Wands, usually someone who's wanting to go on an adventure, take a risk um, towards a sense of freedom and just doing something uh, uh, something that you wouldn't normally do. I feel that this is like a, a move, some sort of a change or a transition. So, an, a spontaneous, yeah, a spontaneous um, jerky movement. So, something sudden, something you wouldn't normally do, I feel is going on here. Something that people would not expect from you. I don't know why, but I get a, I get the sense that you're more traditional. And of course, if this is the King of Pentacles, um, which is usually my Taurus card, Cancer, Taurus, they're not far away from each other. So I don't know if you're carrying the energies of Taurus, which is more traditional, or if the, uh, because we've got a full moon in Scorpio, which is a lunar eclipse on the 16th of May, which um, is going to be some sort of a completion. A full moon in Scorpio is never easy, even though it's not, it's it's got good angles, this eclipse. So even though it's a difficult full moon eclipse, it's, it's, uh, it's connected in positive ways to other planets, other energies, so it's not so gnarly. Aries energy. Now, Jupiter's just moved into Aries, so this could be uh, a possible move or getting very adventurous, very courageous, taking that leap of faith. What's your hopes and fears? Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Queen of Wands, very creative, magnetic, attractive, very much of a leader, very confident, very creative, very sexual. So you're hoping to create. You're hoping to create what it is that you desire. You're fearing not being able to have take the initiative i mean you are a water sign so i don't know if you've got your moon in leo or something like that here and you're showing up as the queen of wands um now you are ruled by the moon which is more recessive feminine energy but queen of wands is ruled because she's a leo for me ruled by the sun there's more ego there's more dynamism Maybe you're hoping that you could uh, 
instead of sitting back and, you know, just going with it, you're hoping that you'll be able to create a new situation, right? What is the possible outcome? We've got judgment, which is Scorpio, which is Pluto. Pluto is in a very good aspect to this eclipse. So this is like second chances, whatever it is that you're desiring to move towards, and you've already started the transition emotionally. Now, physically, I see you're probably now getting ready to take that leap of faith. I don't know. I don't know um, what's going on here. We'll, we'll get more cards and see. But the judgment card is like a resurrection of sorts. It's it's help coming through from Archangel Michael. So it's time to resurrect your love life, obviously, through transitioning. It's it's maybe a difficult decision. That's important. You need to make the decision. And remember that the Queen of Wands, she doesn't think. She acts and then she thinks, right? So, and we've got... Um, eight another eight eight of wands cupid's love messages travel flight travel you could be thinking of taking a trip being very adventurous at this time i see movement though and i see you moving away from from maybe a a, a stable situation now, i'm not reading reversals so we'll have to take some more clarity here this is usually the marriage cards. So I don't know if you're leaving a marriage or someone's entered this King of Pentacles. Could be someone that's entered your life from the past. Could be someone from your past as well as Mercury's retrograde. Someone who could be at a physical distance to you. Someone that's offered you uh, a long-term relationship or something much more stable. And you're getting ready now to leave something else maybe that was unstable because you didn't find your happiness eight of cups is you're checking out you're leaving so either that or or those of you that are single you could be um connecting with someone that is at a physical distance some of you may be just planning a trip and as you're in transition on this trip, it may be that you've got a second chance in love. There's the Nine of Wands before that. So it looks like you've been through quite a bit. But the general energy is the Eight of Wands. So that it feels like there were blockages or you weren't able either to communicate, someone had blocked you, or maybe whatever was going on around you, you just had a lot you were dealing with now it's like a a getaway eight eights speak to the infinity symbol which is it's like and there is the infinity symbol again so having a second chance at something another go at something and look at that look at that so you are coming from a stable long-term marriage one that has wounded you one that you've um it did not provide for you that serenity and that emotional stability. Fire, fire, fire is, fire can burn, fire can create, but it can also burn. See, there is the five of cups. So you have been in mourning. You do have regrets pertaining to the past. So, mm. now for others of you, for others of you, possibly, possibly you could be also leaving a an earth sign, maybe a uh, Taurus moving towards a fire sign, it could be as well. Fire sign or a Scorpio, I would say here. Let's see what your Karma Dharma is for the month of May. It's interesting because we've got, we have um, Taurian energy and Scorpio. This is where the eclipses are happening. So, hmm. 
Looks like you're getting out of your comfort zone, but that will lead you to second chances in love, to a resurrection and to finding your balance and harmony. So for Cancer, dear spirit, Cancer, in the month of May, what's the Karma Dharma? And we've got the Hermit. So we've got Virgo here. So now uh, the Hermit is a nine. Someone who has gone within is soul searching. Obviously one step before that will fortune, which could be a divorce card, could be a card of justice. I know the will of fortune, it is the will of fate. Jupiter and Jupiter does, Jupiter in Aries will give you more courage, more leeway into taking that adventure that you've been, you've gone within, you've been soul searching and looking for the answers. Remember that nines are always endings. Okay, so let's see what the energy oracle has. What is the advice for Cancer in the month of May? Dear spirit, Cancer. I feel no. Cancer in the month of May. What is the advice? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars. And I missed a card and the card that was left was the woman holding a coin which is the counterpart to the king of pentacles but she was in the reverse so i don't know if that's significant for you it's a 42 uh usually they are parents the uh, king and queen of pentacles the woman holding a coin is very much like the queen of pentacles so i don't know if you're leaving a marriage and you're just following what you you desire and you've connected with someone else on a much more sexual and more um, exciting sort of a relationship and you're ready to let your hair down, you know. Let's see, for Cancer, what do they need to know? For love in the month of May. We've got Goddess of the Moon, number 52. She's very similar to the High Priestess. 52 equals a 7, which is the chariot. You are moving. Goddess of the moon. Trust your intuition, obviously. Let's read number 52. Intuition and going within. Very much on point, as with a hermit. Upright. This card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright, reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the ability to re receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving the card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular for instance you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you've avoided a three-hour traffic jam see that exactly speaks to what i was saying before that you're doing something very different or you might have an idea for a great invention a stock investment or a spellbinding novel this card also indicates a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. You're always blessed with this ability to connect, but this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration this brings. And we know that the Page of Wands is the energy of inspiration, taking a leap, moving forward. Trust your intuition. This could also be... Um, all, this could also be a psychic connection, so a spiritual connection with someone or just a, a you know, feeling a magnetic pull towards uh, something. Trust your intuition and run with it, I'm going to say. Let's see emotionally where you are before we take a few more tarot cards for Cancer. Emotionally, where are they? In the month of May. Okay, we have you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. 
So obviously someone maybe was um, eating at your aura, sort of um, sabotaging you and giving you the perception, feed, you know, feeding you that perception, planting that seed in your mind that you're not good enough. Hmm. Your commitment is being tested first quarter moon and a quarter moon does mean a difficult turn. But something is building. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So we've got Virgo and Gemini. We've got a full moon in Virgo, a new moon in Gemini, and a first quarter moon. Communication is key, and communication is not going to be easy. Now, Gemini is all about decisions, communication, uh, difficult decisions, of course. We know that Gemini is the twins. You are good enough. Uh, full moon in Virgo. Now, dear Cancer, you're in good connection with Virgo. So I don't know if this King of Pentacles could be a Virgo. I mean, the the high. I did mention the High Priestess uh, energies in you know the um, the energy of Pisces and opposite Pisces is Virgo. Um, So we know that, because if you think of the moon, you are the moon, right? You are ruled by the moon. So there's, there's that motherly nurturing energy within you, which ties in really well with the Virgo card here. Communication is key, but new moon in Gemini. And of course, we've got a new moon in Gemini. Um, I'll tell you exactly when that's happening. May 30th, the last uh, second last day of the month. So communication, make sure because your commitment is being tested. Now, it could be a commitment to a child as well. Okay, Virgo is all about service. Virgo provides and shows their uh, affection, their love through acts of service. And Virgo and Gemini both ruled by Mercury. So pay attention very important that you make sure uh, that you are your mind is clear and that communication is 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 right we've got a couple of virgo cards here so virgo speaks very strongly to you now i'm going to say also that yes you could be dealing with a virgo obviously we also have the ace of pentacles king of pentacles even though for me it's taurus could be a virgo but also for others of you, I mean, Queen of Wands is usually my Leo. Leo is right next to Virgo. So you may be dealing with a Virgo, someone that's coming through as very fiery right now. If you know who you are in this reading, okay? Now, the King of Pentacles is in the position of you. So you may be um, showing up as the King of Pentacles, a father or a mother. Doesn't It's not gender specific. Someone that's very stable or needs that stability, and you surely do need that. So uh, let's take more cards. I want to take a a Spirit of the Animals Oracle before I take more tarot here. For Cancer in the month of May, dear Spirit. Cancer. Raccoon and Inventor. Okay. Decide on what you really want. You have the ma the ingenuity. I can't read this word. Ingenuity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. Oh my God, the trickster is Mercury retrograde. You know that. Ingenuity. Be careful of deception. I'm going to say if you're dealing with a trickster, keep your eyes open. Make sure you're checking. You know, ticking off all the boxes. Communication is uh, very tough with Mercury retrograde. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity because it's probably going to come back to you or it's going to come back to the trickster. Where there's no integrity, Saturn, Saturn is going to take care of that. You have many roles and can juggle them well. So, juggling, multitasking. That's what that two of uh, pentacles speaks of. Let's uh, let's take more cards and see. Let's take a few more cards. So, 
it's a time of invention right you're inventing maybe reinventing your your love life that's what mercury speaks of reinvention uh, i want to look at because i'm not going to take all the cards i want to look what that page of swords is all about and we've got the knight of wands knight of wands is the traveler this is probably oh my god this is probably someone who is uh, could be checking you out we've got the page of wands the knight of wands we've got the three of pentacles so i don't know if some of you are juggling between two people you're ready to check out of an old relationship and maybe coming through as more fiery you could also have an age difference with another fire sign and we've got the star which is a, a wish fulfillment at a distance it could be also social media you've got two wish cards cancer so your wish fulfillment the person you're wishing for is probably at a distance it, you may also be um because this is the work card i don't know if through work you've connected through social media um i want to take one card on that two of pentacles why is the two of pentacles in the challenge yeah difficult decisions looking at the details too much this is stress anxiety a lack of sleep being too busy not getting enough sleep in preparation mode you're you're reinventing your life i feel um, and you are being tested, obviously. Um, you are doubting yourself many times. Let's take one card on the Page of Wands in your environment. Yeah. And we've got the Ace of Cups. So you're taking, you're on, an, on a roll. You're taking an adventure towards a new beginning, a possible new love connection. Or it's someone that you've known from the past, could be. Um, for some of you, it will be someone from the past. For others of you, it's someone maybe that could also be at a physical distance to you. Knight of Wands travels a lot for work. So I don't know if they're coming in or if you're traveling. I mean, that's that's what's showing up here. One card on that Eight of Wands. You can see that the Knight of Wands is facing the past. So, um, someone maybe that you feel reminds you of your past, if you've never met this person before, or this person is returning from the past. Let's take that Eight of Wands. And we've got the Page of Pentacles, so you're studying something, right? Page of Pentacles, yes, is the messenger that's a message that's coming through and you're studying on how you can make these changes in your life which i see there are changes here and there is the high priestess so a spiritually inclined connection obviously now the high priestess many times could be a third person as well so some of you may be in a love affair you could be the third person yourself the goddess of the moon and the high priestess are the same same cards same messages three of pentacles see three of pentacles is we know is it could speak to a love triangle but it can also speak to possi a possibility of expansion and a uh, small success but the page of pentacles is something long term it's interesting because it's like you're on a on a loop so we see the ace of pentacles here we see the page of pentacles so I don't know some of you could have two children as well a uh, gemini could be in an earth sign um page of pentacles is is studying something you know this is what i'm gonna do it's like you're restarting again you're like you're building on your future and reinventing yourself that's what i see here anyway dear cancer that's all i have for you i will be taking a lot more cards in the extended so do consider joining me there thank you so much for liking sharing subscribing and commenting we'll be um looking into a lot more details so do join me there i'm wishing you well anyway for the month of may all the best it looks good you've got second chances all the best Ta -da.